Today, we reflect together upon the loved ones we so keenly miss, mothers, fathers, children, grandchildren, siblings, husbands, wives, partners, grandparents, nephews, nieces, aunts, uncles, cousins, neighbors, and many others. And we realize that we are a constant reflection of the love and devotion they shared with us. Through our shared stories of their lives, their unique personalities, their traditions, and their imprint upon our hearts and character, they will live on eternally. Today, we give our grief purpose and find comfort in knowing that our loved ones walk with us in spirit along the paths we travel. Today, we light the night with our memories and our loved ones and our hope for the future. When do we remember? Grief and remembrance creep into both the humblest and most extraordinary of our experiences and serve as a measure of the depth of our love for the people we have lost. When watching television, aimlessly listening to a song or chatting with a friend, we hear a line or a situation reminds us of our loved one. When accomplishing a goal that we know our loved one would have applauded us for, then we experience a flood of bittersweet sentiment and long for their personal congratulation and embrace. When we smell cologne or the aroma of our loved one's favorite meal or see an article of clothing they wore, we remember. When we celebrate anniversaries, birthdays, and other milestones, we feel that poignant sense of loss. When we are alone in quiet contemplation, we can hear the voice of our beloved speaking to us. When we have new experiences, we wish our loved one could be with us to see what we have done and know the people we have become. We invite each of you to take a balloon and tonight we want, because we can't write the names on it because of the wetness, we just ask you to come up and name your loved one. Share the name of your loved one. And we will refrain, we will remember after that name is pronounced. My mother, Peggy Warren. We remember. My sister, Melanie Logan. We remember. My Nana, Betty Wall. We remember. My mother, Betty Wall, and my father-in-law, John Reed. We remember. <laughs> Uncle Gary Prentice in California. We remember. My father, Vernon Snellings. We remember. My brother, Aaron Rudy. We remember. My aunt Cynthia Bridges. We remember. Um, my hunting buddy Wayne Basham. We remember. My childhood friend Alex Collada. We remember. We remember. We remember. I give direct credit to the Leukemia Lymphoma Society research for saving my life, as well as the lives of several of my dearest friends who are also blood cancer survivors.